welcome back to another video. I am so dang excited about this video because it is the holiday season. It is November now. We can get all holly jolly Christmas vibes going and I am so excited to share some of my favorite Christmas book recommendations with you as well as my own Christmas TBR for this holiday season. My phone has been ringing all day long. Anyways, I love Christmas books so much and they are cheesy and they are lighthearted and that's I think why there's some mixed opinions on it. Some people think they're like a waste of time and they just can't get into them. I personally love it because we've made it through the whole year. It's Christmas. I just want fun. I'm just here for the vibes and these books bring the Christmas vibes and I am so excited to share these with you. So I'm going to start with my favorite Christmas book recommendations that I've read that I can give you and honestly attest to and then we're also going to go into my own personal Christmas holiday TBR for this year and there are quite a few books on my holiday TBR this year. All right so we're going to start out with my Christmas book recommendations and first up I have The Wish by Nicholas Sparks and I know what you're thinking, you're probably like, that doesn't look very Christmassy, and it's technically not like a Christmas book, but it does take place during the holiday season. Like there are Christmas trees and Christmas decorations, and this is a general romance book. It's honestly one of my very favorite romance books of all time. It's a five-star read for me, and you know I don't take that lightly. If you follow me whatsoever, you have heard me talk about this book. It is just one of my favorites. I will talk about it until the end of time because not enough people are talking about this book. It is a dual timeline. There's some tragedy. There's teen pregnancy. It's just so deep and so amazing and I can't say enough good things about this. So definitely pick this up if you're wanting a book that takes place at Christmas time that isn't necessarily like a cheesy rom-com holiday book you know what I mean but if you are here for the cheesy lighthearted holiday books as well I highly recommend In Holidays by Christina Lauren this is like a Groundhog's Day trope where she keeps waking up and like repeating the same day over and over and over again and that sounds awful in book form that sounds so so bad like it would just get really old really quick I love this book and normally the cheesy holiday books cap at like a three three and a half star for me this book was like a four four and a half star for me because I loved it. It's actually one of my favorite Christina Lauren books in general which I think says a lot since it's like a holiday lighter book. This is Second Chance Romance, Childhood Friends to Lovers, Forced Proximity, Some Found Family, and so many good holiday vibes. Like it is just it's so cozy. I read this last year and I was just blown away by it and it made me want to read all the holiday romance books. This kind of kickstarted Aside from Love and Other Words, it's kind of kickstarted my love for Christina Lauren and their books. So this is definitely a book I would recommend this holiday season if you, if you haven't picked it up yet. I know it's pretty highly talked about, so you might have already read it or heard of it, but definitely one I would recommend. Next is one that I have some mixed emotions on because I personally am not a huge Tessa Bailey fan. I don't love her books. I don't love, like It Happened One Summer is not a book that I enjoy. Um... I don't love her spice scenes. I just am not a huge Tessa Bailey fan, but I wanted to include it because if you are, you will love Window Shopping by Tessa Bailey. This is a grumpy sunshine workplace romance and it's like a reverse grumpy sunshine. So he is like Mr. Holiday, holly jolly, Christmas socks, Christmas bow tie, like to the max. And he works at a department store and she is very reserved, kind of grumpy, standoffish. Um, it's very spicy. I think that's maybe why I didn't like it. It felt like 200 something pages of sex and I didn't love that. I wanted a little bit more of like romance, like Christmas romance Hallmark vibes and it was just too x-rated to be anything related to Hallmark. But it is a good recommendation if you are a Tessa Bailey fan and if you like spicy smutty books. It's not to say I don't like some smut but this just was a little bit over the top for me. I think I gave this one two and a half stars, but I think if you like Tessa Bailey's writing and you like her books, I think you'll definitely enjoy this more than I did. And then I wanna recommend Nick and Noelle's Christmas Playlist. This book is so cute. It takes place at like a Christmas tree farm and it is a friends to lovers romance. There's a family included. It involves a ex-girlfriend and a cheating scandal. Nick and Noelle are like the ultimate best friends and watching their friendship turn to like a budding romance. I'm gonna close my window, it's really loud out. And that's not a spoiler because I just told you it's a friends to lovers romance. Their connection is so pure and so sweet and there's a little bit of drama. There's like just a lot in this book that like it's not super deep, it's not super serious, but it does 
give you the feels and this was a really cute book. And lastly, I wanna recommend Let It Snow and this book is unique because it's actually three separate shorter stories compact into one bigger novel and the stories kind of overlap a little bit. One of the authors of this book is John Green, who's the author of like The Fault in Our Stars and Abundance of Catherine's, Paper Towns, like you know John Green. If you grew up in this era, you've read John Green. He's kind of like my teenage author for sure. But this book I actually read three or four Christmases ago, I think, and I still think about it. It is super, super cute. I really enjoyed these stories, and there is something about the stories being separated and written by different authors but like put together that I really really enjoyed. I felt like I it, I didn't get sick of it. It wasn't like too long for a Christmas story because they were like distinct separate storylines going on. I highly highly recommend this one. If you haven't heard of it, check it out. It is an older one and I think it's actually a Netflix movie now. So you have that to look forward to too if you want to read the book and then watch the Netflix movie. That sounds like a perfect Christmas night to me. So those are my top five Christmas recommendations. I'm not super well versed in Christmas books to be honest. I don't usually opt for them but those are five that I can personally attest to that I love so that I think you should read this holiday season. Now I want to get into my Christmas TBR because I have picked up quite a few Christmas books over the past year that have just been sitting on my shelf waiting for this time of year and it is their time to shine. So I'm going to go through how many do I even have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have seven Christmas books. I don't know if I'll get through all seven. I'm hoping to. Seven Christmas books in one month. It's probably doable. I think there's eight actually because there's one I don't own that I definitely want to read that I'm getting from the library. First up we have Fool Me Twice at Christmas and this I believe is about Chuck and Kate and they used to date and they've broken up and their families are super intertwined. Their parents I think are best friends and business partners and they go home for the holidays and they're like okay we're finally gonna tell our parents that we broke up like we're gonna break the news to our families and they go home and long story short they end up engaged. So this is like fake dating but to the max because they have like a fake engagement while they're around their families for the holidays and with that I'm sure you can guess like emotions come back, feelings come back, so now they are met with like we just broke up and like there was a reason for our breakup but now we're fake engaged with our families and there are still some feelings there so this feels like a perfect lighthearted read for the Christmas time. It is so short. It is under 200 pages. It is 195 pages so this is perfect for the Christmas time. I think those shorter, the short and sweet Christmas books are the best Christmas books in my opinion. We don't need 400 pages of Christmas romance in my opinion so I'm super excited to get to this one. It's going to be a great read this holiday season I think. Up next we have All I Want for Christmas and this is another fake dating fake relationship trope. This is about Sadie and Max and they're both selected for a singing reality show and in order to like boost their stardom and boost their fame they opt to fake date each other for the media and this is about their fake relationship and their connection that blooms while they're fake dating and their how they're presenting to the public and like their fear of being found out for fake dating. This feels cheesy and sweet like the fact that they're on a singing reality show itself I feel like is going to be lighthearted and kind of funny to read. I've heard good things about this and I actually got it on clearance at Target. It was only six bucks. So I picked this up last season like right after the holidays when they were getting rid of all their holiday stuff. This was on clearance. So it's been sitting on my shelf for about a year now and I'm excited to finally get to it. Taylor Jenkins Reid is quoted on the front saying it's utterly adorable. So hopefully it I can take her word for it because you know I love Taylor Jenkins Reid. Before I forget, I'm going to mention the one I'm getting from the library and that is Love Light Farms. I'm sure you've seen this. Everyone's talking about this author and I think there was a fall book by her too that like everyone was reading. This I've heard is like if you want Christmas setting, I think it takes place at like a Christmas tree farm without being completely consumed by the holidays and being completely about Christmas. So I've heard really great things about this. I'm super excited to read this one that is on hold at the library. I have it set to be delivered like at the start of December. I have paused my holds so it'll come in right when I'm ready for it. I can't wait to get my hands on this one. So this next book is The 12 Dates of Christmas and this sounds super cute. This is about Kate Turner and this takes place in England which I kind of like when books take place in England. I'm from the US and I don't know something fun about it but this is about Kate who is ready to give up on dating. She's like just gonna focus on her career, focus on her independence and her friend signs her up for a dating app I believe. It says a dating agency but I'm picturing like a dating app and she is set to go on 12 dates with 12 different guys. So she comes in contact with her old friend Matt at their neighborhood cafe. She's getting like a side job baking and 
simultaneously she's going on these 12 dates for the dating agency so 12 dates 12 different guys and I believe this is going to be a friends to lovers if I know anything about romance and Christmas books and how they're going to play out she's probably going to fall for the old friend but I'm excited for this because I love friends to lovers it is my favorite trope so this is just over 300 pages it's like 350 pages and I have a feeling it's going to be a good one I like the dating other people and having the best friend trope it's reminding me of what is it Josh and Hazel's Guide to Not Dating by Christina Lauren it's reminding me of that and that book I thought was super cute and lighthearted and fun to read so Hopefully this will be great. It feels like a lot of perfect Christmas vibes for this time of year. Then we have One Day in December and I think this is like a soulmate trope. It says, Laurie is pretty sure love at first sight doesn't exist anywhere outside of the movies but then through the mist of a bus window one snowy December day she sees a man that she knows instantly is the one. Their eyes meet and there's a moment of pure magic and then the her bus drives away. So I think this is her trying to find this soulmate that she has looked at once and feels like he's just the one and soulmate the soulmate trope can be really hit or miss for me I have mixed opinions on soulmates in general but that is a whole life discussion that we don't need to talk about today I don't always love the soulmate trope but sometimes if it is done well I think it can be really endearing and really fun to read about so I have a feeling this is just going to be a cheesy lighthearted one it's a Reese's book club pick which normally that's a good sign so hopefully fingers crossed this will be good I was gonna say this is gonna remind me of the light we lost and that's the author that's quoted on the front of this book so soulmate kind of those spiritual vibes which can be really hit or miss for me but I'm excited to give this one a shot so we'll see stay tuned I'm sure you'll hear about it next we have the Santa suit and this one sounds so sweet and so endearing this is about Ivy Perkins and she buys an old farmhouse without even seeing it so she's gonna go in and fix it up and kind of make it her own and she finds an old Santa suit in the closet and in the pocket of the Santa suit there's a note from a child and the only Christmas wish that she was asking for was for her father to return home from war and so this sets Ivy off on the mission like she wants to figure out who wrote the note did the man ever come home and this is I think is like a small town just community building warm fuzzy I feel like this is going to be the perfect emotional feel good Christmas book with like a romance subplot it says the last little blurb of this is but the magic of Christmas makes miracles happen and Ivy might find more than she ever thought possible a welcoming town a family reunited a mystery solved and a second chance at love like that is just perfect. I cannot wait to read this one. I feel like this is going to be so, so good. Hello. Hey. So my phone rang and I got interrupted. I can't remember what I was saying, but long story short, I'm excited to read the Santa suit. All right, we got two left here. One is a very, very, one is A Very Merry Bromance and I am so excited for this one. I read The Bromance Book Club and if you aren't familiar with that series, The Bromance Book Club in general is just about a group of men that get together to read romance books to learn how to better treat their partners and how to, how to be a better man for their partner, which like ideal, chef's kiss, all men should be doing that. Like Bromance Book Club should just be like the standard in my opinion. If you want to know what women love, read what women are reading and falling in love with. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, I have unrealistic expectations for my dating life because of the books I read, so I'm very passionate about this subject. <laughs> However, this is the Christmas edition of the Bromance Book Club, and I cannot wait to read this one. So this is a country music star and a lawyer, and it sounds like he is more into dating than she is, and she agrees to go on three dates with him, and it's about them together and overcoming this obstacle that they're facing I don't entirely know it sounds really fun and I I just love the bromance book club series so bromance book club plus Christmas like two cheesy romance things combined it's the best of all rom-com worlds like my dreams the Christmas vibes I feel like are going to be immaculate with this one last but not least I have heard this book is like Hallmark movie in book form literally to the max and that is the holiday swap I'm so excited to read this one. This is about twins that switch places, long story short. And they, it seems like a harmless swap at first, but then love interests get brought in and it gets complicated. There was a Hallmark movie with Candace Cameron, I think, 
a few years ago that I really enjoyed. It might have even been called the Holiday Swap or the Holiday Switch or something where this exact thing happens. But the twins switch places and then there's love interests on both sides and it just gets messy and confusing. I think it's also a firefighter romance trope and a physician's assistant. So like doctor romance, firefighter romance, if you're into that with the men in books, I think that this is going to be perfect for the holidays. I've heard, I think Des described this, you know Des, the book girlies. I think Des, Des described this as Hallmark movie in a book form, which I'm sold. That's exactly what I'm looking for around the Christmas time. So I'm super excited to pick this up. I actually got my hands on the book of the month edition from Pango Books a little while ago. So really excited about this one as well. Let's do a tiny little rapid fire recap of my holiday TBR. So we of course have Love Light Farms, Fool Me Twice at Christmas, All I Want for Christmas, The 12 Dates of Christmas, One Day in December, The Santa Suit, A Very Merry Bromance, The Holiday Swap. So those are my top Christmas book recommendations as well as my own holiday TBR. Leave a comment down below telling me your all-time favorite Christmas book that just brings the perfect vibes for the holiday season. And that's all I have for you today. I cannot wait to take on the holiday season with you guys. I am, it's my favorite time of year. Reading's my favorite hobby. You're my favorite people. It is just going to be the best thing ever. I cannot wait. But that is all for this particular holiday book video. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of the coming holiday bookish content that I have planned out. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye book besties.